God forgave my sin, in Jesus' name, I've been born again, in Jesus' name, and in Jesus' name, I come to you, to share his love, as he told me to, he said freely, freely, you have received, freely, freely give. Oh, in my name, and because you believe, others will know that I live. All power is given in Jesus' name, and in earth and heaven. In Jesus' name, and in Jesus' name, I come to you to share his power as he told me to. He said freely, freely, you have received freely, freely Go. And because you believe, others will know that I live. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Well, welcome all, welcome all those who are with us online, welcome those of you in church. A nice goodly number today, and it's always a good number, but a, a goodly number. It's nice to have you with us. Um, I'm sorry it's a bit cold in church, I've just realised not only has the hour of the clock changed, but I forgot to put it on continuous for Saturday, so it's a bit cold. And we've also got the back door open, which hasn't helped us along the way, but um, still, we'll warm the place up with our singing and with our worship too. I'm offering Mass today for the soul of Doreen Pitcher. May she rest in peace. Amen. So as we begin, we call to mind our sins and ask God for his grace and for his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. By your help we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who made a way through the sea, a path in the great waters who put chariots and horse in the field, and a powerful army, which lay there never to rise again, snuffed out, put out like a wick. No need to recall the past, no need to think about what was done before. See, I am doing a new deed. Even now it comes to light, can you not see it? Yes, I am making a road in the wilderness, paths in the wilds, the wild beasts will honour me, jackals and ostriches, because I am putting water in the wilderness, river in the wild, to give my chosen people drink. The people I have formed for myself will sing my praises. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, what marvels the Lord worked for us, Indeed, we were glad. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. 
When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were. The heathen, heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seeds for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. I believe nothing can happen that will outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For him I have accepted the loss of everything, and I look on everything as so much rubbish, if only I can have Christ and be given a place in him. I am no longer trying for perfection by my own efforts, the perfection that comes from the law. But I want only the perfection that comes through faith in Christ and is from God and based on faith. All I want is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and to share his sufferings by reproducing the pattern of his death. That is the way I can hope to take my place in the resurrection of the dead. Not that I have become perfect yet, I have not yet won, but I am still running, trying to capture the prize for which Christ Jesus captured me. I can assure you, my brothers, I am far from thinking that I have already won. All I can say is that I forget the past and I strain ahead for what is still to come. I am racing for the finish, for the prize to which God calls us upwards, to receive in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. The Gospel Acclamation. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and that the Lord God of hosts may really be with you. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At daybreak he appeared in the temple again. And as all the people came to him, he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and Pharisees brought a woman along who had been caught committing adultery. And making her stand there in full view of everybody, they said to Jesus, Master, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. And Moses had ordered us in the law to condemn women like this to death by stoning. What do you have to say? Now they asked him as a test, looking for something to use against him. But Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. As they persisted with their question, he looked up and said, If there's one of you who has not sinned, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Then he bent down and wrote on the ground again. When they heard this, they went away, one by one, beginning with the eldest, until Jesus was left alone with the woman who remained standing there. He looked up and said, Woman, Where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she replied. Neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go away and do not sin any more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. You ever wondered what Jesus was writing? 
Well, if you are wondering, you're not the first. From the very earliest days of the church, preachers, indeed great saints and teachers, have pondered this very question. Uh, St. Jerome, for instance, said that Jesus was writing down the sins of the accusers. St. Bede says he wrote down the Ten Commandments. And St. Augustine said that he wrote on the ground, indicating the names of these men were to be written in the earth, not in heaven, where the names of the saints are written. Well, each of these ancient writers make the reasonable assumption that Jesus was writing words. And in writing these words, he was shaming and embarrassing the scribes and the Pharisees. Well, however, I'm not quite so sure about this. And far be it from me, really, to take issue with Jerome and Bede and Augustine and whoever else. I think there's another way of looking at it. You see, we know that Jesus could read. He read in the synagogue at Nazareth, and on many occasions he quotes from the scriptures. But it's less certain that he could or ever did write. There are no texts, no documents that are supposed to come down from the hand of Jesus. This is the only place in the whole of Scripture where Jesus is referred to in any kind of way as writing. If it is writing, of course. And there is no other suggestion that he ever wrote anything down. And why would he be writing down names or words? Perhaps he was, as the account seems to suggest, just doodling in the, in the sand, not sending a now forgotten message. Actually, this, this wonderful tale has got several contrasting elements for us to consider. There's the contrast between the gang of men quick to accuse and condemn and the sad, solitary woman whose sin was with some such man. Between the stones which these men prepared to hurl and the dust in which Jesus wrote. These are contrasts, like so many actually in St John's Gospel, between strong and weak, substantial and insubstantial, powerful and powerless, but pointless. Stones become dust. Man and woman have sinned together and all fall short of the glory of God. Now, I think the crucial contrast here is between the copied words of the scribes the legal interpretation of the teachers of the law and the copious compassion of the one who doodles in the dust. Jesus calls the bluff of the hypocrites. He bestows mercy on the sinner and by actions rather than words shames the accusers and saves the accused. Let's stand and affirm together the faith which we share. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, for the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified by the Holy Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As Easter draws near, we turn in hope to our loving Father, who is present here with us, as we bring before him our prayers and concerns for the church and for the world. For the church, for all those who are preparing to receive the sacraments, may the Lord continually strengthen their love in him, so that they may continue to grow in faith and be faithful witnesses to his word. Lord, hear us. For all those who are sick, all refugees, all who are on the edge of society, may the Lord help us to respond with generosity and kindness. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have died, may they be held in the light of God's love. And for those who are suffering from the loss of a loved one, may they be comforted by the loving presence of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For peace and harmony in a troubled world, may the coming glories of the resurrection bring reconciliation and inspire true and lasting peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray together for the people of Ukraine. O oh God, God, merciful, merciful and strong, strong, who crush wars and cast down, down the proud, Look, Look with mercy on the Ukrainian, the Ukrainian people. people. Protect them from aggression. Grant them peace and steadfast trust in your love. Give them courage to defend what is good, right and holy. And provide all their needs. Through the powerful intercession of the Mother of God. Protect us as Ukraine. And St. Michael the Archangel, patron of King. Banish violence swiftly from their midst. And, and wipe, wipe away all tears. tears. Through our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the, in the unity of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We turn to Our Lady, refuge of sinners, as we pray, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In silence we now make our personal petitions to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to listen to our prayers with love and grant all our needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you've given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from disordered affections they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, Stephen his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Doreen Pitcher, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Thomas More, with Blessed John Sugar, and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Hath no one condemned you, woman? No one, Lord. Neither shall I condemn you. From now on, sin. Body of Christ. Thank God. 
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. One or two notices. I'll try and be quick so you can go out into the warm. <laughs> I know it's cold in here because I never feel the cold and I've got a jumper on under all this. So I'm so, I do, I do apologise. It's my fault. Entirely my fault. Can't blame anybody else. Uh, I didn't set the... Anyway, it's my fault. So there we are. Notices on the front of the sheet. Uh, mass times are the, the familiar pattern. We use the word familiar rather than any other word. I think that's the best way of putting it. Um, and uh, it's, we, we're almost next Sunday, Palm Sunday, which means the Sunday after is Easter Day. And of course, as the children in school will tell you, Easter means chocolate. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Terrible, that's true. That's happened to me more than once at Martin's school. So, uh, Easter, Easter chocolate hamper we've got, the, the hamper's at the back of the church. Tickets are one pound per strip from the uh, Coke Cloak Room ticket book. Um, I've met some of the people surely we would have been selling the tickets or somebody else but nobody's there actually I think taking charge of that so if somebody some responsible sensible person and there's lots of you here more than me uh, can, t- can just take one of the booklets and collect money from people today right on the you know how it goes you take the tickets and you write on the stub the other side so that we know it's you when you win and there's a, at least two hampers there some, um, some fantastically generous prizes it's, and loads of chocolate so um, don't make yourselves ill if you win but it's, it's there, so please do that. A little bit of a fundraising, a bit of fun as well before for Easter. Gift aid envelopes for the coming year are, are uh, available now. Um, I'll try and say this quickly, not because I want to bore you, or, or of course, um, keep you cold. Um, about 39 envelopes have been used since September, but only 24 have been used, the numbers I'm talking about, the numbers, only 24 since the, the beginning of January, which tells me, of course, we know People are paying online and so in different ways of, of, of making their contributions to the church. I've just put envelopes out for the ones, the envelope numbers which have been used for the past three months. And they're at the back of the church. Now, you might not actually need your envelopes, so that's fine. If you don't need them, just leave them there. And in a few weeks' time, we'll recycle the numbers if we need to. And we have got other envelopes. If you want some and your name's not there, that's fine. Just let me know. Preferably by text or, you know, something, because it's, it's easier than, you know, remembering it. Um, but, uh, but thank you to all who, who gift aid, whether through the envelope scheme or, or online or by standing order, because that is an immense help to our parish. And very, very grateful. Thank you very much. Um, you'll see a notice for the Sisters Immaculate Heart who are, who are doing something called Spring Rain Global Voice on Zoom. There's a link there so you can see that if you want to. If you've not re- renewed your 100 Club number, please do so. And on the back of the sheet, you will see the one thing to draw your attention to there is Holy Week service times. I won't go through them because it's obvious, really. And they are the familiar times from previous years, pre pandemic. We're doing a full program, I hope, yeah, more or less. And the other thing to mention is that the three minis, which are going from different parts of the country, one from Kanak to uh, Poland to take items for refugees who are there, um, they're setting off on Tuesday, so uh, Wednesday, so Tuesday's the last day to take donations, address on the sheet, and they, one appeal that they've asked me to mention is blankets. This is what, there's a, a, an acute need for blankets to the people they're taking stuff to help. So if you can donate blankets, um, you probably need them for, for, for the cost of people, but you know, if you can donate blankets, please do, because they're really needed there. Uh, and so uh, that would be very grateful. And the other things I think speak for themselves. So do uh, take the notice sheet home, share with friends and family, and so on. If you're online, there are loads of places to uh, download the notice sheet. If you're watching online, it's where you're watching from, the site, whichever site it is. There'll be a link there. But just wait for an hour or so, because I've not uploaded it yet. I'm a bit behind this morning, as you might have gathered. Um, but uh, we will get there. So thanks very much for everybody who, who puts uh, into all that. That was great. And I don't think I need to say anything else, because uh, I just go on and on, and it's cold. Let's stand for our final prayers and blessing.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You shall cross the barren desert, you shall die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and live. Be not afraid, I go before you always.